My name is Ravi and uh, I'm a senior researcher in, I, in the IP lab and the primary focus of our research is ICN which is called, which is expanded to information centric networks. Um, what we are showing here is a demo that's in the intersection of two emerging technologies, one is uh, 5G and the other is information centric networking. And uh, the goal of the demo is to show how uh, uh, new emerging architectures like ICN can be realized as part of uh, um, kind of uh, 5G architecture itself to deliver uh, several services. Um, so before going into the demo, I'll I'll share some slides that uh, motivates uh, this uh, POC and uh, how this POC would uh, can potentially impact uh, the emerging 5G standards. So 5G has several heterogeneous requirements uh, from from the application perspectives as well as from an architecture perspective. From application perspective, we have several IoT applications that is uh, that is presenting a uh, lot of uh, very stringent uh, challenges in terms of uh, battery requirements and in terms of scalability and latency requirements. In addition to the uh, the, the orders of magnitude of capacity and bandwidth that is required for high bandwidth applications. At the same time, you also 5G requires networks to be highly secure uh, and support uh, more mobility and uh, and basically even perform good in, in disaster scenarios. Uh, from, an, from an architecture perspective, uh, we have uh, uh, new requirements uh, from the perspective that the network architecture itself should be uh, a top-down network architecture where which is uh, service centric. Um, it fundamentally espouses a vision of NFE and SDN. And, uh, and and not just provide it's not just uh, uh, kind of be able to uh, provide uh, uh, connectivity services, but also uh, provide highly contextualized uh, services to end consumers. So it, to meet these requirements, you have several emerging architectures uh, that are under consideration. One is uh, network slicing framework that allows you to slice the network uh, in a top-down application-driven networking manner. And we also have what we have is called as a ADN, uh, application driven networking vision. And uh, what uh, is our core, core area of research, which is ICN, uh, um, which is could be one of the potential candidates to realize the uh, visions of ADN. So this is a high level view of what uh, 5G ICN network slicing framework looks like. Uh, so at the very top level, you have all the applications uh, driving the, uh, the networking. Uh, then you, which is basically applications presenting its requirements to a service orchestration plane. Um, then you have uh, the uh, the uh, the applications themselves um, getting orchestrated either as TCP/IP services or on top of ICN, which is the kind of the uh, the, the the core of this the the main goal of this demo. Um, the reason why uh, this is possible is because you have a very programmable transport. So you have programmability uh, at the transport level, compute and storage um, uh, levels um, at, at every segment of the network that is going from the user entity to the access network to the core network into the cloud. Um, and the reason why applications want to would want uh, to choose ICN is because of the features that ICN enables in terms of handling uh, mobility, uh, caching, uh, computing and uh, security features. Uh, so the, the demo is primarily on a platform which we call as uh, virtual service edge router platform. At, at a very, at a very uh, basic level, at the very foundational level, this is uh, ICN router. Uh, here we are, we primarily, uh, it's a CCN router on which we allow, which is made programmable uh, using the uh, the existing open source uh, software, uh, which is OpenStack and OnoS, to uh, that the fundamentally that is uh, that is programmed using uh, applications to meet its own service objectives, um, and uh, this is uh, realized on top of uh, the Cots platform. Um, and um, as uh, as mentioned, uh, uh, CCN itself uh, meets a lot of the objectives of ICN in terms of providing. Uh, the supporting the pull push primitive and allowing multi party to multi party communication and uh, the key thing here is that icn can be plugged into current nfvsdn platforms to deliver icn services in an overlaid manner to end uh, consumers um, so what we are showing here is actually uh, uh, 
uh, video conferencing service, service uh, getting um, provisioned and uh, that allows uh, that allows multiple endpoints to engage in a multi-party video conferencing. Um, so the features that we demonstrate here is uh, multi-point multi -point to multi-point co communication. Um, um, it is, uh, it, as, is, as mentioned, um, I, ICN itself provides a very good uh, transport platform for virtualization. So uh, the conferencing um, uh, or uh, management framework can be used to uh, deploy multiple simultaneous conference. Um, it allows you to do dynamic name-based routing, service scaling, and, all, and also uh, more advanced uh, notions like conference monitoring and management. Uh, another key aspect with this uh, with this architecture, it allows allows you to do context level adaptation through its uh, through its interest data uh, primitives that runs between the application and the network. Uh, so this is the high level view of our demo architecture. So at the very high level, you have a user uh, requesting a conferencing session. Um, and it goes through a video service orchestrator and the video service orchestrator um, uh, basically uses the OpenStack and the ONOS um, uh, APIs to, uh, to, uh, to first plug in the, uh, the, uh, the uh, relevant service functions into, this, into the CCN router, which is our virtual service edge routing platform. And then you have <coughs> application controllers operating as part of the ONOS framework. Uh, that um, that uh, that programs the the CCN uh, level uh, fib tables to interconnect the UEs to the appropriate service functions and basically the communication and the connectivity between the service functions themselves. Um, so this is this this uh, shows more into details of the application layer architecture itself. So. Um, you have uh, the consumer and producer as part of the uh, endpoint that is generating and, and consuming video that is uh, coming from multiple parties simultaneously. Uh, on, the, on the right hand side, you have uh, uh, basically a, 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 a framework that is used to synchronize names between the producing um, uh, parties and the consuming uh, applications. And uh, this is uh, again showing the uh, the uh, more high level uh, orchestration stepwise uh, um, um, stepwise operation of how the conferencing would be uh, um, would be provisioned. On the right hand side, we have some more details on on how the um, the inner details of how the service manager uh, interacts with the the OpenStack and the ONOS APIs to orchestrate the video conferencing service. Now, just now, let's move on to our live demo. Uh, this is a, a live running demo of our of the video conferencing service. So here, primarily, at the very basic level, we have the VSER platform, which is our ICN or CCN routers. Um, then uh, the CCN routers themselves are managed uh, using uh, open source uh, uh, software stack, primarily the OpenStack and the uh, the ONOS uh, controller. Um, so, and uh, the video conferencing service itself runs on top of it. So, what we are showing here is uh, a slice, an application slice instance uh, that uh, of, of the video conferencing service involving four video participants and each participant is enabled with both audio and video capability uh, and it is a multi-party conference. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, the main uh, feature of the ICN platform or the VCR platform that we want to demonstrate here is a multicasting feature here. So what we see here is primarily four video participants and each participant is a video, video producer as well as video consumer and the produced video is consumed by all other participants and the consumer himself is consuming the video of all other all the other three participants. And the feature that we are showing here is the multicast feature that is happening uh, underlying in the underlying transport uh, via this via the CCN protocol. Uh, now we will switch on to the management uh, uh, screen here that will that will show the different aspects of managing this video conferencing service. So at the very uh, at the initial state, what uh, the what an operator can do is to basically come to this uh, to this particular page that talks about create a video service. He would enter these features like exactly what chat room he wants how many, uh, what kind of uh, conference service it is, whether it's just or chat or video. Um, 
then uh, he could probably enter things like uh, maximum number of clients here and then he would do something like create an ICN service. Uh, once you create an ICN service, uh, what, you would, what would happen is uh, um, the, uh, the orchestrator uh, would, uh, would invoke basically uh, use the APIs of OpenStack and plug in and basically invoke a lot of VMs in this, in this VSER uh, routers. So here we see that there are three VMs that are up. Uh, and these fun service functions primarily uh, aid the purpose of syncing the namespace among the consuming and the producing applications of the video uh, video application uh, in the endpoints. Um, so this state of the VMs can also be seen on the OpenStack itself. As we said, uh, the service manager is simply uh, getting the information from OpenStack and we have this OpenStack uh, uh, showing the service functions that have been plugged into this Visa platform and basically being used for to serve the video conferencing service. On the network controller side, we have the open OneOS uh, network controller and uh, to see the number of hosts, uh, number of uh, nodes that is here. So we have uh, two nodes that is showing up. These two nodes are actually the VSER nodes, which is basically the ICN routers. and uh, and so this, this topology is again being generated using the extensions that we put into ONOS to support the ICN networking features. Uh, on, the, on the more specific ICN network information side, we, we can show, we, we see that there is uh, two nodes here, specifically the VSER nodes and the hosting different service functions here, uh, we call as a controller and the proxies. And if you go into the details of each ICN or this VSER nodes, you, we can pull out the specific FIB states. These are again name based routing entries that has been inserted uh, by the application controller into this VSER nodes to support name based routing um, between uh, to serve the purpose of this video conferencing. And so we could also see a similar state from VSER uh, 2.2. 2. So that is the overall uh, the high level uh, high, high level uh, view of this uh, of this live demo that shows network slicing and ICN service orchestration.